Moving now to a place we all might enjoy staying at it for a night or two. It's safe to say that not many people look forward to paying electricity bills each month. One couple in Deerton took matters into their own hands and built a totally energy efficient home to reduce their carbon footprint. Not only are they living solely off the energy they produce, they are also producing enough to share it. Daniel Davis took a ride out to their greenhouse to see how the creative couple is able to live net zero. Christine says it took about three years from conception to completion with a few challenges along the way, but this net zero energy efficient home is now complete. Christine and her husband Sam have not only eliminated the need to feed off the grid, but actually created a surplus of energy. Actually the siding is uh, an insulated vinyl siding, so it's got an actual NR value of around, I think it was three, NR3, whereas typical vinyl siding doesn't really have any insulation value to it. Um, the walls were made from structural insulated panels, which have an R value of about 24, so all in all the walls are about an R27. Um, in the roof we put about 10 inches of isonine, so there's about an R50 in the roof. Since we're generating the heat through the floor, we wanted to put mass in the floor so it holds the heat and then radiates it up into the living space. So we have an inch and a half of lightweight concrete in the floor. The wind turbine is the main reason behind their invisible carbon footprint. It produces 12.5 kilometers of energy, so when it's really windy, it can actually produce more than they need. The house itself was designed with strategically placed windows and doors to make use of as much natural light as possible. Other power saving techniques include a front loading washer, about a third of the water because you don't have to fill the entire, an energy efficient refrigerator and light bulbs, so when you press down it's a half flush, and a low pressure flushing toilet. And when you pull up it's a full flush. But being independent of any energy needs forces Christine and Sam to think ahead and prepare for potential emergencies. Because we have to be down if the grid is down, otherwise right. you can electrocute the line worker. So we're down just like everybody else when the power goes out. So at least we know we can be warm and we can cook on top of it. Sam even converted their truck into an electric vehicle that takes about six hours to charge, release the brake. giving them 70 miles to use at their disposal. Since moving in, the Simonettas have consumed just over 54,000 kilowatts of self-generated energy. In Deerton for ABC 10 and CW5 News Now, I'm Danielle Davis.